afternoon class will actually continue the, the one that we discussed last time, right? So, um, can, can somebody please tell me what is the meaning of Alice? Okay, very good. Capital and expenses, right? So as you can see here, the assets um, are the things of value owned by the business. And why am I showing you this? Because this has something to do with our lesson for today. All right. And uh, these are examples of assets. So basically, these are the account titles that you will be using when you when you will be doing the T account. Okay. So T account muna tayo bago tayo mag journalize. So example of assets, ayan, accounts receivable, cash, notes receivable, land, buildings, equipment, store supplies, automobile. So basically lahat ng receivable, for example, nagpautang kayo, right? Nagpautang kayo, hindi pa siya nagbayad. So receivable sa inyo yon. Kaya i-debit nyo. Okay? Right. And what about expenses or, or liabilities rather? Ito yung utang ng kumpanya. Basta may payable utang yon ng company. Okay? So remember this account titles kasi ito yung gagamitin nyo. What else? Sorry. The next would be the equity or the capital contributed capital, the dividends, the retained earnings. So, ano ang format dito sa equity? Na-mention ko na to last time. For example, so, ibang lista. The owner of the company invested 500,000 500,000 pesos and an automobile were 300,000 pesos to start the business. Okay, ayan. So as you can see here, right? So ako yung may-ari ng business. And I invested not only money, pero automobile. So basically, kapag there is the word invested, it is addition to the capital or the equity of the business. Okay? Basta there is the word invested. At hindi lang siya pera. It can also be any example of the asset. So in here, in our example here, automobile. So can somebody tell me ano-ano yung mga account titles involved in this transaction? Cash. Cash. And cash is an example of an account title ng asset. Ano pa? Ma'am. Automobile pa. Automobile, alright? So, cash and automobile. So, sige, mamaya natin yan babalik, babalikan. But when you record this, you will write a acronym, yung pinakaunang letra lang ng pangalan ng uh, ating uh, may-ari ng business, and then the Name of the surname, rather. So, therefore, ang ilalagay lang natin ay A Dito, lalagay ko dito. A, capital letter, A, period, evangelista, comma, capital. What if, for example, hindi naman given the owner of the company invested, wala yung name. Ang ilalagay mo ay owner's Capital. Okay, yan ang gagamitin yung account title. Automobile sa kapera. Sige, balik tayo ha. Balik tayo dun sa previous slides natin. Sige, wait lang. Let's go back to our previous slides. So if we have to go, sorry, we have to go back to our previous slides, right? What are the examples of assets? Tama ba ako? Right? Cash. So, yung 500,000 is cash. So, kapag nag-t-account kayo, 
you have to analyze ano yung mga account titles in bold cash. And then merong automobile, right? Tama? There is automobile. This one, automobile. So another one in bold is automobile. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to analyze what are the account titles in bold. And then kanina, diba, if there is the word invested, we have um, capital, right? Diba sinabi ko? So yan, A, period, evangelista, capital, right? And then this is the time that you would have to ask yourself, what did you receive? Okay, so you have to ask these questions. Ang una yung itatanong is, what did you receive? So, in short, ano ang nadagdag sa inyo? And then, what did you part with? So, meaning to say, ano ang nabawas sa inyo? Okay? So, in this case, in this kind of transaction, Ano kaya ang nadagdag? Si cash ba? Si automobile? Si capital? Automobile po. What else? Si cash ba? Nadagdagan? Yes po. Okay. Very good. Nadagdagan din, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, in every transaction, pwedeng lahat nadagdag, pwedeng isa nadagdag, isa nabawas, dalawa nadagdag, isa nabawas. Okay. So, yan. So, nadagdag si cash. Si automobile, nadagdag. Si capital, kaya nadagdag? Yes, po. Yes, also. okay. Very good. Nadagdagan. So, in this kind of things, walang nabawas. Nadagdag lang. Na-answer lang itong katanungan na to. Okay? So, now na nalaman nyo na yan, based on this information, um, you will now use this information in uh, doing the T account. T account, it looks, it, it is like T account because it looks like letter T. So the left side of the account is the debit and the right side of the account is the credit. So meron tayong tinatawag na rules of debit and credit. Okay? So meron tayong tinatawag na rules. So rules, sorry, rules of debit and credit, right? So based on the rules, di ba, meron tayong tinatawag na alis, tama ba? A is for asset. L is for liability, tama ba ko, class? I is for income or revenue. C is for capital. E is for expenses. Right? Okay, then based on this, we can have the different rules. Meron tayong mga rules na gagamitin. So ano-ano yon? Okay? So based on this, meron tayong rules. So depende yon sa debit or credit. Ayan, lalagay ko lang dito. So if there is an increase in asset, i-debit siya. If there is increase in capital, de, dito muna tayo. Increase in expenses, i-debit siya. If there is increase in liability, i-credit siya. If there is in increase in income and revenue, i-debit i-credit siya. If there is increase in capital, i-credit siya, right? And then kapag nakuha niyo na yung pattern, nakita niyo yung pattern, may pattern tayo. Nakita niyo class? Guide niyo rin to. Okay? Pwede niyo picturean. Asset, debit, tapos dahil, di ba, alis yan? Dalawang cross sa credit and then expenses. There is a pattern. 
But there is what we call the the uh, there is what we call the owners withdrawal, tama ba class? So meron pang tinatawag na withdrawal. So sa withdrawal, ito rin ay dinidebit. Okay? Dinidebit din siya. So dito din siya, increase in sa debit. So kapag nakita niyo na yung pattern na ganyan class, so therefore, kapag there is a decrease in liability in credit in decrease in uh, in asset sorry decrease in asset ay kini credit decrease in liability dine debit decrease in income dine debit decrease in capital dine debit and then increase or decrease rather in expenses kini credit decrease in withdrawal is kine credit. So kanina ito yung example natin, di ba? Annabel Evangelista. Sige, type ko uli yan. Para makita nyo. Annabel Evangelista. The owner of the company invested 500,000 pesos and an automobile worth 300,000 pesos to start the business. Ayan. Okay? So, kanina, you were able to figure out what did I receive? Tama ba ako, class? So, we were able to answer only what did I receive. So, based on this information na, na nag-increase lang ang cash, tama ba ako, class? Kasi nakatanggap kayo. Kasi di ba increase in asset are debited. And then, nag-increase na naman ng asset, kaya i-debit -de ulit siya. There is increase in capital, Kaya, ikikredit siya. Do you get me, class? So, depende po siya sa rules. Okay? So, ngayon, kapag nalaman na natin yung rule, diba, nalaman na natin yung rule. So, ngayon, kung nasa rule natin yan, we will now do the T-account. So, gagawa ka na ng T-account for cash. Isusulat mo dito, cash. So, saan ilalagay saan ilalagay si cash sa debit or si credit sa credit debit po okay sa debit so dito ko ilalagay yung magkano yon 500,000 pesos right so dito ko siya ilalagay 500,000 pesos dito and then, si automobile, gagawan ko na naman siya ng kanyang sariling e-account. Okay? So, automobile naman. So, kung gano'ng kalami yung account titles na involved sa isang transaction, gano'n din kadami yung depende sa account titles. Okay? In this case, tatlo ang involved. So, si automobile, increase na naman siya dahil din sa ating rule, right? So, saan ko ilalagay? Sa debit side or sa credit side? You, debit. 300. Okay. Very good. So, dito ko ilalagay si 300,000 pesos. Okay? So, dito ko siya ilalagay. So ngayon nakadalawang debit ka na. Di ba sabi, two sides are always equals. Kaya nga asset equals liabilities plus capital. So therefore, kung nag-debit ka ng 300 sa ka 500, dapat magkano ang i-credit mo? Magkano ang capital? 800,000 po. Very good. So therefore, gagawa tayo ng panibagong T-account. 
gagawa tayo ng panibagong t-account. Wait lang. So, t-account na yon. Ito naman ay para sa A, Evangelista Capital. So, lalagay ko A, sorry, A, Evangelista Capital. Ito yan. Okay, ulitin natin. A, Evangelista Capital. Yan. And then, saan ko po ilalagay si 800,000 pesos? Sa debit or sa credit? Credit po. Sa? Very good. Sa credit. Kasi dapat two sides is always equal. Kaya kayo minsan hindi nagbabalance. Dapat, ilan yung nilagay nyo sa debit? Parehas lang nasa credit side. Okay? Naintindihan ba, class? Yes po. Sige. Meron po bang mga katanungan? Ayan, para meron kayong kopya. Alright, so now let's go on and let's move on with the next. Alright, so buburahin ko na to ha. Okay, you already have a copy. I sent it in your GC, GC rather, GC. Right now, all right? Sige, clear all drawings na ako. Yan, okay. So based on that, sige, let's go back muna. Let's go back with our PowerPoint. Uh, yan, okay, equity. Yan, okay na. Yan, the, the T account. So let's take specific example. So nilagay kanina debit, credit. Pwede yung ilagay is actually DR and then CR. It's the abbreviation. Ayan. So, ilalagay nyo the account name. Right? So, the T account is actually the tool to analyze and determine the balance in a given account. So, here, it will be the pattern, right? The pattern would be the account name, the left side of the account, and then the right side of the account is credit. So again, depende yon sa rules, right? Every T account has an increase side and a decrease side, okay? That is based on the rules that I have discussed earlier, okay? So depende. Like for example, pag asset, asa ng increase side ng asset? Sa debit or sa credit? Debit po. Very good. Just follow the pattern that I send you. Ayan, ano, ano na yan? Acronym na yan para madali nyo matandaan. What about the decrease side for liability? Debit or credit? Credit. Credit. Very good. Papasa na. Alright, ayan. Ito na. The seven rules of debit and credit. Ayan. Alright. Increase on the debit side. And decrease on the credit side. Actually, I was able to summarize everything earlier. Kasi dito medyo maguguluhan kayo. Kaya I gave you a summary, a guide, a simple, a very simple guide. So that you will not be confused. So every time that you will be doing uh, the T-account and then layer on journalizing, isulat nyo muna yung rules para may guide kayo. Okay? Yeah, so let's take a specific example. For example, you purchase office supplies for 800 pesos cash. So, ngayon, my question is, what did you receive? Anong nadagdag? Supplies. Office supplies. And then, ano pa? Cash. Cash ba nadagdag? Nabawasan. Nabawasan po yung cash. Very good, class. Okay. Teacher is very happy you were uh, you were able to understand the lesson for today. All right. So now, based on the rule, kapag nadag oh, sige, another question before we go on. Ang office supplies and cash ay example lang. Asset. 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 Very asset. good. So based on the rule that we have discussed earlier, kung asset siya, okay, saan? ko ilalagay si office supplies? Debit po. Debit. Debit? Okay. 
Okay, yung problem natin kanina, you purchase, right? You purchase supplies for cash, 800 pesos. Okay. So ngayon, gagawa tayo ng dalawang T-account, right? So one T-account is... Dalawa. So one T-account is for supplies. And another is for cash. Okay? So ngayon, sa natin ilalagay C800 di supply sa debit or sa credit. Again, para hindi kayo maguluhan, what did you receive? Meaning to say, ano ang nadagdag sa inyo? What did you part with? Ano ang nabawas? Okay, based on and answering those questions, ano ang nadagdagan? Supplies. Okay, very good. Kung nagdagdagan ang supplies at asset ang supplies, based on the rules, saan ko ilalagay? Sa debit or sa credit? Debit. Debit, very good. So, dito ko ilalagay. So, um, let me just tell you na may date po siya. For example, ang date natin dito is, ano bang date ngayon? Zero, five, 3. So ngayon, 2021 na. So dapat isusulat nyo ng buo ang date. Pero 1-9 lang to ah. Hindi lang kasi kasha. Pero dapat there is the date muna. Tapos 1-9 lang siya. Isang linya na ganun. And then you will write. Magkano yon Peso sign. Isang beses lang sinusulat ang peso sign. Sa isang, isang beses lang siyang sinusulat. Alright? And then... Magkano yun? 800. So, dito siya dapat sa debit, ha? Lumagpas lang ako, class. Lumagpas lang ako. And then, sa cash, what did you part with? Nabawasan ba ng cash? Opo. So, saan ko ilalagay? Sa debit or sa credit? Credit po. Credit, credit po. So, credit. Very good. Kasi dapat isa lang, right? So, 5, 3, 20, 21, and then, 800 pesos. So, balance tayo. Walang nawawala. Hindi kayo pagbabayarin ng kumpanya. Naintindihan. So, meaning to say, in our transaction, kasi monthly transaction yan. So, lahat ng supplies dito mo ilalagay. Lahat ng cash dito mo ilalagay. Hindi siya per number, iba-ibang t-account. Lahat yun pagsasama-samahin nyo. Nagkakaintindihan ba tayo, class? Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Paul. Goodbye, Paul. Bye.